Hi friends, in this video I will show you the simplest way of connecting your hard drive to your PC over a Wi-Fi network. Now there are many videos on YouTube showing uh, this method but they are complex and they involve complex steps and most of them don't work. Now the first step you're gonna do is connect your hard drive to your Wi-Fi router and there will be a USB port located on the back of the router. Just plug in the hard drive into that. So the next step you're gonna do to connect your hard drive over Wi-Fi to your PC is open the run dialog box. You can do that by clicking on the start button and typing run but my password is not set up so I will do a, a shortcut that is by pressing the windows logo key and the R button simultaneously. This will open your run dialog box and the next step will be to type in exactly the same that I will type here that will be double slash 192.168.1.1 and press enter and voila your usb hard drive is connected to your pc via wi-fi now my hard drive is connected i have having all my data here now to create a shortcut for this uh, hard drive so that you don't have to type run and type the address every time just drag this option onto the desktop and uh, you can rename it to wi-fi hard drive and that's it here you go and now your hard drive is connected to your pc over a wi-fi network i can access all my files i will show you for example and here you go this video is playing flawlessly so uh, now one more important step I want to mention is that if uh, any of you have a problem regarding this let me open this again the run dialog box now this address may be different uh, in some kind of routers but in I guess 90% of the routers, Wi-Fi routers, this password, this uh, address will be the same. Now if yours doesn't connect to your router through this address, what you want to do is, what you should do is click on the Wi-Fi network and click on network settings. Now go to advanced options and here you want to locate the IPv4 DNS servers address. Now this is the same that I have typed earlier, the 192.168.1.1. Now in case yours is different, you should copy this and paste it in your run dialog box. So this was it. Uh, wasn't it simple guys? So if you find this video helpful, be sure to leave a thumbs up for this video. Thank you so much for watching.